Um, I Luca even mentioned that the stream had cut out, but um, I'm just a dumbass, so. Um, anyway, so to catch up, um, we're saying the culprit supposedly removed the moon rock from the lab, but in this video of him, it's nowhere to be seen. Judge says, oh, you're right. But here's something to consider. What if the phantom hit the moon rock somewhere at the scene of the crime? Good thinking, boss. Security was super tight at the space center back then. Super tight. Super difficult. All of that, in spite of the space center having very strict security in those days. All personnel effects were examined thoroughly, coming or going. You couldn't even smuggle a withered old leaf through those checkpoints. <laughs> Nine viewers? I don't think we. <laughs> Twitch. Did the Twitch break? Way. For me, it still says it still says zero viewers. I'm gonna refresh chat real quick, maybe. On my end. What's it doing? Ping to the chat. There we go. <laughs> I love um, Spanish space man. Do the FPS Roger voice. It's great. A funny spaceman. Uh, don't, sorry, you read that oh, line, sorry. didn't you? Um, no, 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 you did. I don't know does if you this did. mean that the moon rock is still somewhere in the space center? In the name of justice, I proclaim that's impossible. And why is that? The space center was searched from top to bottom, and especially the lab. But the moon rock was never found. Ah, how could I forget about that? Come on, Phoenix. I thought that was the, the, the core thing of the fact. God damn it, idiot. A sad but true fact. We still haven't a grasp on how it was done. But the phantom made the moon rock vanish into the ether. There's no way it just disappeared. Logic and evidence tells us otherwise. The Phantom didn't have the moon rock on him when he left the lab. Yet Athoros' police search didn't turn up anything. And it never turned up in the seven years after that either. Guys, are you all dumb? Holy shit, it really does say 10 viewers on my end now. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what caused that. Huh. Oh. Hey, I recognize another name in this in uh, in in chat. At least not, not, some, not someone that's um that said anything yet. But I recognize that name. Hello there. <laughs> um, it's, um. All right. Yeah. So the Phantom made the rock disappear without physically removing it himself. But how? There must have been a way. <laughs> Look. There, there, there wasn't 10 viewers and all of a sudden there was, alright? Shush. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Must have been a way. Think, Phoenix. Think. It's obvious, you fools. Come on. Uh, no, Gumshoe wasn't present at the time, I think. I, I we're, we're, just, we're just not sure what happened. Gumshoe is kind of gone after three. I don't know why. Or after X Investigations. But, I, 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 the, you know, someone else, it's... We, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> How did the moon rock vanish from the robotics lab? Question mark? Exclamation mark? Should have been an Interrobang. Disappointing. <laughs> why use two punctuations when you can use one? I'm always saying this. Exactly. So, can you not say what happened to the moon rock, Mr. Wright? <laughs> Gumshoe is a myth. The legendary gumshoe. Dick gumshoe. My man. My love. Yes, I can, Your Honor. What? Oops, sorry. I mean, so he was going, what? I mean, what? Yeah, and Terabangs are excellent. They are such a great piece of punctuation. In that case, let's have your ass on Mr. Wright. How did the Phantom make the Rubok disappear from the crime scene? Damn. That's no passion, right? <laughs> that's a very that's a very funny comment. I like that. That's that was pretty good. Uh... <laughs> the one that would oh, that's me. No, no, that's me. The one that would double that one rocket. He couldn't carry the rock out, but he couldn't leave it in the center to be found either. So there was only one safe place to stash it. The Hope capsule that was there in the lab that day. Hmm, yes. And the team must have built it into the Hope capsule space eventually. Probe. But, if that's what happened... 
Then the moon rock would have been launched up into the space along with the rocket. Didn't I say a few streams ago that the Phantom came back after seven years because he wanted the capsule because he said something important was in it that he sent up into space? Oh, I, yeah. by the way, I didn't actually know that. That was a genuine guess from that at that point. Because <laughs> I, unless, actually, there is a chance I, that I did read that and then forgotten. So it was a subconsciously something I knew rather than, but the, mm. I didn't know, no, at least. I didn't consciously realize if it was a, a something I read. Fair. But just, I, I feel less impressive now. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> oh, well. Over yourself to being... <laughs> from having read the body. Preposterous. It would mean that for these past seven years, the moon rock was... Exactly. The Phantom got rid of the moon rock in the most cosmic way he knew how. Space. It was out there in the depths of space. Aboard the Hope Space Probe. What? <laughs> nice. We timed that all right. That wasn't bad. It was on my end. It was perfect. Excellent. <laughs> I understand now. The Phantom's original scheme was to sabotage the Hat One anyway. The villain, he used his primary objective to conveniently kill two birds with one stone. That's right. He planned for the Moon Rock to be turned into cosmic dust out in space thereby destroying the one piece of evidence that could reveal his true identity. But Mr. Starbuck and the others foiled the Phantom's plot. Ugh. The Hope Space Probe sailed off safely on its mission and returned seven years later. With the capsule in tow. Gah! If we analyze the blood on the moon rock, it should make one thing crystal clear. That you were the Phantom all along, Detective Fulbright. So, he killed Clay just so he could get the Moon Rock back? I believe so. His original assignment may have been just to sabotage the hat too, but... At the same time, he also had to retrieve the evidence of his crime seven years ago. That's why he went to the boarding lounge. And attacked Clay as he made his escape out of the rocket with the capsule. But in the end, it was all he could do just to escape himself, so he didn't get the capsule. Clay must have done everything he could to stop Fulbright. He probably hung onto that capsule for all he was worth until his very last breath. I believe that. Clay sounds like mm -hmm. he was uh, hella cool. True. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. You make me laugh. You really do. Well, he's totally out of whack now. That just had like you got the whole squad laughing energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's game over for you, Detective Fulbright. Why don't you just admit it all now? There's nothing to admit. I'm Bobby Fulbright, undercover investigator. I tell you, I am not the Phantom. The blood on the rock is just another one of his schemes—a trap. Hmm. Now I'm not sure what to think. That supposed the Phantom's a spy where he sold a trap is not out of the question. But in that case, you could say anything is a trap. <laughs> That's what makes a trap a trap. I've been framed into taking the blame for the Phantom. Your Honor, I believe further investigation is in order. Silence. Further investigation? More like plotting your escape. But no more. I will bring you to justice myself if I must. Damn it. No. <laughs> I was right. I was right to be worried. I'm gonna have to go bathroom. Understandable. Catch up. And thankfully, I don't need to. Hey, it's all right. Don't worry, guys. We have speed mode, and also, where, where was the last save? Actually, though, uh, eleven. Ooh, that's fifteen minutes ago. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. Ah, it's all right. We're good. Don't worry. Yeah, we're gonna turn on speed mode. Are you ready? Um, uh, Bluestacks, the Android emulator we use to play this game, um, has a habit of sometimes crashing. There was a very long period of time where it didn't, after the first stream, where it absolutely did, like, a couple of times. And that's why we refer to random saving as the BSS, because it stands for a Bluestacks save, in case of the system crash that we just experienced. Um, but, we're gonna play speed mode now. Are you ready? 
I'm literally just scrolling the mouse wheel to get through this at, at, at hyperspeed. Because we just lost 15 minutes of progress, which is awful, and that doesn't normally happen. They, uh, that's why we have uh, speed mode. Thank God for speed mode. <sighs> so I hope you all are doing well. Oh, what happened? Oh, the chat apparently went down. Damn, that's a sadness. Went down to three. I'll, I'll take I'll take three people actually active and in chat to um to you know like seven non-existent people, but still. Oh whatever. Either way, we take this. We take these. All right, here we go. We take these absolutely. We take both of these and we we just we just place the scroll wheel on it. I'm gonna make a quick save now because just any any progress I can save is at this point is important. Let's go. Moon Rock was never found. And I have to present the goddamn. It's because I was so confident in presenting the space probe. I mean the um the space probe's container that I was just like didn't save in front of it. <laughs> I was not expecting it. I was not expecting another blue stacks crash. Wow, we went back oh, a long way. Yeah. Don't worry. I've, I've made I've made a save. I'm making Keep another between. save. <laughs> I'm I'm just making I'm just trying to make as many saves as I can and I'm using my mouse wheel like a crazy person. I'm gonna give myself goddamn RSI if it kill if if you know just to get there. RSI from Phoenix Wright. Yeah. <laughs> do do we do we call that like P PWSI? Yeah, sure. And almost there. What? We did it. I'm gonna save again. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember where we got up to, to be honest. I understand now. We're a little past this. I just don't know how much past. Oh, the capsule in tow. Go. So, <laughs> I know, right? Who could he be? In the end, it was like he do to escape himself, so he didn't get. Wait, hang on. What was it? Yeah, because after that, everything he could. It's when um he does the slash. I think it's when he. He's totally out of whack now. Whole guy la laughing at you. Got the whole squad laughing. Yep. Screenshot. <laughs> you got a, you got a screenshot? You did it? Yep. Okay, excellent. Let me see let me see that shit. Throw that shit in there it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's that's the good shit is what that is. Don't forget to put it in um yeah, in, if you, you want to um, oh wait that's I just copied the chat link. Yeah. Oh the chat link? No, you want the message, oh, the, the image link. It's game over for you, Detective Fulbright. Why don't you just admit to it all now? There's nothing to admit. I'm Bobby Fulbright, undercover investigator, I tell you. I am not the Phantom. The blood on the rock is no longer schemes. Oh, yeah, we are a little past that. Attention. Anything is a trap. Everything. He said a trap, a trap. I've been framed for taking the blame for the Phantom. Your Honor, no further investigation is in order. Further investigation? More like plotting your escape. But no more. I will bring you to justice myself, if I must here and now. I think we're roughly here. I'm just going to just... Mm. Do this, and then I'm going to turn off, um, uh, skip everything mode, because I want to not accidentally skip through things that are important. Now that we're here. I guess it's time to show you just what I'm really capable of. Die, Simon Blackwell! Hey, you guys aren't Die, really... Monster. You belong in this world. Hold it. Oh, there he is, the boy, the man. The man, the boy, the legend. It looks like I made it just in time. <laughs> I 
I should I should totally do Dracula's lines with the fucking Fulbright voice. <laughs> yeah. And re and um the other ones as um as um Oh Blackwell, there you go. Edgeworth. Mm. Here we go. Hey, good news for you, Mr. Wright. I've uncovered some very crucial fun. Excuse me? Fun. <laughs> Delicious. No worries, yes. Did you find something out about the Phantom's true identity? Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> that was very that was a very good <laughs> unexpected yes. moment. Oh that was good. That was that was very good. You got me with that one. What does that mean? I don't get it. Because his name's Miles, you idiot. Okay. That's it. That's the um, the repetition. <laughs> yeah. You might say that. I, I started looking into the first people on the scene seven years ago. All three, an employee and two officers, were registered in the robotics recognition systems. But none of them looked the least bit like Detective Fulbright. That's not good. But there's more. I've yet to share my most important finding. <sighs> Mr. Wright, Prosecutor Blackwell, you best brace yourselves. Uh-oh. Mm, Blackwell's not, not excited either. The man you see there before you, Bobby Fulbright, is already long dead. <laughs> huh? What's that supposed to mean? An unidentified body that was found a year ago has now been proven to possess Bobby Fulbright's fingerprints. Then does this mean? Yes, that man. <laughs> that man there. <laughs> It's an imposter pretending to be Bobby Fulbright. Tats, go for it. You're allowed. You're Chat, allowed. Go the fuck off. Go off. Go off, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see how. how <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, I was I, I like on the previous line. I was like, no. <laughs> Don't say, please, please, please. <laughs> You have my permission. It's all good. There we go. We we still need to increase the Among Us counter though. Um, but okay, I don't know okay. how many times to increase it it's for this. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Among Us. And scene. Okay, there we go. Now we can continue with the game. <laughs> Jeez. I think Tats might be having a stroke. Please do not. Please, friends, hydrate. Hydrate Plan to prevent yourselves from having a stroke. That's definitely how that works, right? I mean, I guess. I, I have no idea how. I don't. I don't think it's remotely correlated, but whatever. <laughs> An imposter. Oh, let this man. Who in the world is he? Question mark. Enough of your trickery. If you would not reveal yourself to us, then I shall do it for you. Oh my. What the? No! I was not expecting that, to be honest. Oh, look what you did to my mask. Mask? What is the meaning of this witness? Okay, you got me. I guess I have to show you who I really am now. The slow zoom. What? <laughs> Wait. That... Hey, Apollo. Yeah, it's me. Solon Stormbound. That's funny. This is great. It's got, like, the, the full right suit. This feels like a fucking Gmod head swap moment or whatever. Yeah, that's the best, uh... Mr. Starbuck, that can't be right. You can't really be the Phantom, can you? Silence. Of course not. The real Starbuck was aboard the Hat One, which was set to be destroyed. Oh. Yeah, this is just another mask. I mean, didn't I tell you? 
I'm an undercover investigator. I can change identities at will. I can be anyone I want. Not so fast. I have the Phantom Psych Profile right here. If we compile a Psych Profile on you and compare the results... It will prove that you're the Phantom. Objection! Whoa. Oh. It's time for me to show you the real meaning of the phrase, the end justifies the means. Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> that voice, those words. I hate this. I hate everything about this. I'm back. <laughs> I can't accept such evidence here, Miss Sykes. I have to get real close to the mic for this one. Professor Means? Smask? <laughs> that fucking translation was brilliant. I'll take what I want by any means necessary. Now, give me that evidence. <gasps> huh? Time to take out the trash. Permanently. How could you? Now do you see how powerful the end justified the means can be? Silence. How pathetic. You can't even speak without wearing another man's face. Ah, but that's the life of, the, of an undercover agent for you. My real face has no meaning or value to me at all. Or perhaps it is really the case that you don't even know who you are anymore. <clears throat> what must you see when you look in a mirror, Mr. Phantom? Not an awful lot, I'd wager. Well, aren't you just the master of psychology, Blackwell? That's right. I don't know who I am. I always, I'm always living as someone else for my assignments. I don't remember what my face looks like. Nor even what my personality was like. My face, memories, personality, beliefs, emotions, and soul. Hello. Oh, that's all good, Claudio. See you, man. Thanks for hanging. Bye. <laughs> and also, hello, V, Vic Victorian. I don't. I don't know if I should shorten it to V, to v or not. I don't know if you're okay with that, actually. But hello, welcome, welcome to chat. Welcome to stream. We are currently dealing with the most just un unknown person <laughs> in in existence. Mister Unknown. The the Phantom. I have no self. I am no one. I am nothing but an endless abyss. What's with this guy? Is he even still human? And ah. Now, you resume with your lesson, Professor Wright. Oh, uh, huh? I believe you made this argument earlier. If you were to analyze the blood on the moon roll, you could prove that I am the Phantom. I no longer have to voice the person that we're, that we're fighting against. It's all you again. This is great. <laughs> I love being evil. I, I believe there was blood on the moon rock in that capsule. Now that we know you aren't even Bobby Fulbright, your claims of a phantom trap won't work anymore. Then why don't you bring this moon rock in? <laughs> this decisive evidence from the hoop capsule? Who knows? He might be. I think I will do just that. Get ready, because the Hope Capsule is about to seal your... Phoenix, it was destroyed in a bomb blast. F Fudge! Phoenix, it? It was the courtroom bombing from the other day. The capsule was there in the courtroom as evidence and was blown to smithereens. Let Phoenix say, fuck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Looks like you finally caught on. Full marks for the defense for this effort. But what a shame your hope was lost in that courtroom explosion. Uh, ah! Ah! Uh, so that's the real lesson this courtroom was blown. <laughs> that's the real reason this courtroom was blown up. Understandable for you to say lesson after voicing a means again, but you know, <laughs> that ain't that ain't it, Chief. Yeah, apologies. Was all for the Phantom to destroy that one piece of evidence? Heck. 
I can't believe it. Have we really reached a dead end and a dead end after coming all this way? Has the only evidence we have on this guy really been destroyed? How dare you continue to call me the Phantom? As I've said all along, I'm just a nameless undercover agent. Objection! And the defense will continue to assert that you are the Phantom. Furthermore, we have proof. Or at least, a prayer. I'm afraid that will do, Mr. Wright. At least put some weight behind your swing, right, Dono? <laughs> I know I'm trying! There's only one thing that can unmask this menace, the moon rock. But that was blown to bits in the courtroom bombing. Here we go. And yet, is it really gone without a trace? What if some tiny part, some little fragment still exists? Yes, then you can see the storm moon rock there too. That strange black and yellow thing on the left side of the picture? Very well, Mr. Wright, let's see your proof. What evidence will finally prove Fanon's identity? Wait. Bam. It's the thing. In the thing. Wait, what? Hmm? Isn't the mom that blew up the courtroom? And the moon rock along with us? Are you saying this will reveal the Fanon's identity? Yes, Your Honor. Focus your attention on this photo taken after the bombing, specifically right here. Come on now. <laughs> take that! Please take a look at this newspaper article. Did this article my bad one? Now please note the strange black and yellow rock there on the left. That's the moon rock. And when we look at this photo of the bomb fragments, See how there is a rock-like object with the same coloration. No boy, yes, what's it? It would seem that the moon rock was much more durable than the Phantom thought. If we take a look at all the fragments that the police found, we'll likely find one with blood. And DNA testing on that blood will prove that the witness is indeed the Phantom. Unbelievable. B but that's impossible. Hmph. <sighs> A surprise, to be sure. That's one bloody tough rock. Let us have the fragments tested straight away. Oh, and you'll be having a DNA test too, fool bright. Malif, contact the police department immediately and order the testing. Prosecutor <laughs> Blackwood, what do the test for those two? There was a rock fragment that had blood on it that appeared to be several years old. DNA testing revealed... Well, I'm sure you know full well what it revealed. They compared it was the witness's blood, didn't they? There's no use in trying to talk your way out of it anymore. Admit it, you are the Phantom. Objection! What? Huh? Mr. Wright, did you just raise an objection to yourself? No, I didn't say a word. That was my objection, Apollo. Is my guess, is what's happening here. Huh? Yep, I knew it. Here we go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely insane! Why?! <laughs> <laughs> That's his response. <laughs> Phoenix? Was a pretty good objection too, don't you think? It does not fit on the body at all. Oh, this is so stupid, I love it. Now he's me? So, um, did you have an objection or not, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, uh, no, not really, Your Honor. No, not you, Mr. Wright. I mean, the witness, Mr. Wright. Could this trial get any more insane? Mr. Wright, this fragment of rock in the photograph, and those Please. just like it. How can you be sure they're pieces of the same moon rock that was at the robotics lab? This is where it comes in, finally. <laughs> Care to explain what you mean? Well, there may have been a rock or two in the courtroom that had my blood on it, but how do you know they're not just rocks? You can't prove they're THE moon rock, right? Objection. Don't be absurd. 
Just compare the fragment with the rock in the newspaper article. Anybody can see they're the same. They have the sa exact same coloration. But maybe some other rock with the same coloration happened to be in the courtroom. It's highly unlikely a rock with such a unique appearance ha just happened to be here. But you can't deny it's a possibility. This is great. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> But your blood was found on one of the fragments! Apollo, there's nothing suspicious about my blood being on a piece of rock. And why not? I know it sounds like an excuse, but... Several years ago I tripped and fell in this very courtroom, and was hurt pretty badly. Maybe that's how my blood found its way onto a piece of rubble. Even he must realize how ridiculous that sounds. And yet I suppose it's not completely out of the question. <laughs> I see you're starting to sweat, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I thought that was, that the worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smile. How does he know that phrase, Dude. even? This man is insane. You're the last person I want to hear that from. Well, why don't we get those fragments analyzed? We can ask an expert to verify if they were from the moon rock in the robotics lab or not. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that just isn't going to be very possible. And why not? In order to prove that the fragments are from what you say they are from, you'd need a sample of the moon rock from seven years ago to compare it with. But that moon rock doesn't exist anymore, and there's no sample data left either. So you see, short of going back in time, there's no way to prove that any of the fragments are from the moon rock. Oh! No! <laughs> I love how absurdist this trial has become. There's really yeah. no way to prove it. <laughs> Are you finally ready to throw in the towel? <laughs> just let them time travel at this point. Not yet. Fuck it, just load up, just load up Gar. It's the only way. <laughs> so the moon rock doesn't exist anymore, huh? You know. That's right. It was such a valuable rock too. A shame, really. But it's lost to us forever. He's wrong. It's not completely lost. There's another piece of it, right here, by our side. A shining fragment of hope that could turn everything around. The final piece of evidence to put this phantom away for good. The defense has a piece of evidence that completely contradicts your claim. You have what now? A final fragment of hope that was passed down with great love and care. Yeah. We do? We do. Even if the person holding it hasn't realized it yet. Is this true, Mr. Wright? Pay no attention to him, Your Honor. He's just bluffing, as usual. I wonder if you'll be able to force your biggest smile when you see what I've got. Try me. The piece of evidence that shows the original Moonrock isn't completely lost to us is... I love how it's already giving us the triumphant music because it knows we know at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we good. go. But just about the only things my mother left me with are Widget. And this earring. Maybe she did love me in her own way. Athena, you may not know it, but... Your mother left you with a very important piece of evidence. She did. You're bluffing. You don't have anything of the kind. Oh, but we do. Evidence that will finally corner you. Because we have a moon rock of our own. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you mean... Exactly. A gift Dr. Syphilx left her daughter. An item Athena has cherished and worn all these years. As, dis as Dr. Sykes may have seemed to her daughter, that fragment of her love... will shake oh, off the darkness safe. of the past and give us all hope for the future. Good idea. Let's let's save real quick. Yeah. It's been a it's been a hot minute since 31, it's 51. Yeah, it's been 20 minutes even. <laughs> you never know. This is the defense's sample of the moon rock. That's your sample. This earring that Ms. Sykes always wears was made from that original moon rock. What? All this time? It was right here all along. 
Let's go. We've got the squad on the right. No, mm, it, it can't be. If the composition of the bombed fragments and the airing are, to be, to, are found to be a match, then it will prove beyond the shadow of a doubt the origin of the fragment in this photo. And since the test results show that the blood on the fragment was yours, this means that the identity you've tried so hard to hide will finally be revealed. The identity I tried to hide? I, I don't have an identity to hide. I may not have Athena's ears, but now even I can hear the fear in your voice. Fear? I don't feel fear. I left all of my emotions behind years ago. Every human being feels fear. You simply can't face the emotions inside you. You can't face them because you have nothing. No love, no trust. And I suppose you do. I didn't have anybody to support me at first either. I couldn't face the fear inside me, couldn't get over the trauma of my past. Like I said, I don't feel fear. Objection. Then you're just a coward for running away from yourself. When I had my doubts about Miss Sykes, I felt like I would collapse under the weight. Oh, this is great. This is such a great moment. But I wanted to trust her. And I knew I could trust Mr. Wright to uncover the truth. That's why I was able to face my suspicions without hesitation. I, I really want to... I really want to see this in the in, an, in the in like a new season of the anime, but God, I don't know how well they'll be able to translate it. Running away from myself? <laughs> How can I run away from myself when there's nothing inside? Nothing at all. Okay. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> I know it's hard for someone as unwilling to trust others as you to understand. But people have emotions. It's just a fact of life. And so people can be weak at times. But that's exactly why people need to trust one another. So they can gain the strength to face themselves when things are at their bleakest. Now, in this case, it's Stupid Sexy Phantom. Come on, man. <laughs> or Super Sexy Phoenix. That also works. I don't know. One of those two. Mm. Without trust so, in I, others. I was just thinking, like, oh, I should Google to see if that's an image edit. And then I was like, mm, no, I don't think Google Images will be... Uh, <laughs> Google like Images will not be though. kind to you. <laughs> How can you ever hope to face your fears? Save again. Sorry, I know I'm just saving and like just now very compulsively. Now that we've actually BSS, I like now we, sorry, now that we've actually had the blue stacks crash. I need to now just that you're compulsively aware save. Of your breathing. You have to. Yeah. Be very kind. Uh, you know, only a certain certain Look, definition I'm not, I'm of kind. Not complaining, but. I'm <laughs> I want to see him rip off like five more masks of just a whole bunch of different people. Yeah, that'll be his like. The fear inside of me much. is this. No. Ah! 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 Oh god. I'm afraid! I'm scared! Ah! I feel fear! Like, his eyes are way too, like, I hate this. It's scaring me. You can't outrun yourself! Remove that mask and unleash your emotions. Confront your guilt head on! With your, with own, your true own true face. face. I couldn't say that with two people's voices at once. Feels bad. I just... That was good enough. He's so close. My own true face? No, please don't. I, I know you're here. Where are you? See? I haven't revealed anything yet. Honest. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. My own true face. Oh. I don't have one. My face. My face. How did, how did he even... Yeah. <laughs> With this bitch as well. Is, Is this, this my face? Is it? No. That's not it. No. No. This isn't me either. Ah. Is this me? Which one is my face? What am I? Oh, what am I? <laughs> oh god, he's having like a fucking crisis of not knowing who the fuck he is. It's basically full bright at this point. A 
full red is the most true face he's had at this point. Yeah. I, I, that's actually way better that we just don't see it outright. Oh. That's it. That'd be very touching. Not touching. But I don't know. It's good. That's great. <sighs> that sniper attack in this he really was good. shot. Oh my god. Hang on. What, what, what's happening? He got sniped. <laughs> okay. They're chasing me to my boots. But police are doing everything they can to track down the sniper as we speak. Prosecutor Blackwell? That was the detective for Brad. I mean, this imposter anyway. He's a lucky fellow. The bullet didn't hit any vital organs. He appears to be in no danger of dying. Well, that was fortunate for all of us. He was too busy having a panic attack. He couldn't stand still long enough for the sniper to actually hit anywhere important. Yeah. <laughs> He's smashing Andy. Yeah. Be the analysis of that final piece of evidence right down or submitted is in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you were half joking, but it was true. The composition of Miss Sykes' earring and the fragment with the blood on it match. We can now be certain that it is a fragment of the moon rock in question. The murders and bombings at the Space Center, both past and present. The bombing of courtroom number four and all of his other crimes, as numerous as the stars. Under suspicion of all of these things, the spy known as the Phantom has been incarcerated. The prosecutor's office is now responsible for his well-being. <sighs> there are still a myriad of things we wish him to tell us about, after all. Thank you, Prosecutor Blackwell. <laughs> I love this, it's like horrific like misspellings of those words it's just becoming its own language <laughs> yeah it's evolved <laughs> well you mean, time to finally bring this you, you mean the asymmetrical monster hunting game god <laughs> there you go you're welcome uh... but before I do will you find it please return to a proper place <laughs> yes your honour <laughs> It's much clearer in the anime that there are actually two of these. Well, there's at least like a seat for the defendant to be. Right. Now then, the court finds the defendant as he decides. Amon, excuse me? Are you telling me that the that the entire Amon archetype within the Dark Regulus clan is guilt is uh, is sus? I was about to say guilty. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, yes. Mm, I could really go for some coffee right now. Mm, go on to the guild. <laughs> yeah, man. These guys have been here, stuck in court for three billion years. Oh my god. Imagine knowing DR cards. What are you talking about? 9 p.m.? Go That's to nice. bed. <laughs> it's 11 p.m., idiot. Uh, no. I know. Oh. For them, I know. <laughs> I. The point being that nine Did is not it. an actual bedtime. But we've done it. Holy shit. We beat the game. We've gamed. Now, now we get to watch game. the credits and we get to see all the characters. Where, where are they now? That's true. Defendant Lobby number five. number five! Number five! We haven't made the joke in forever, so it's important. Yay! Congratulations, Mr. Nick! Thank you, Pearls, and thank you for being there for Athena. It's the least I could do. But Athena was great, wasn't she? She was so strong throughout the whole trial. Daddy, I'm so glad to see you. Trucy, are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm fine, Daddy. I was doing magic tricks for the other hostages to keep our spirits up. <laughs> Excellent. That's how Trucy for you. Glad to see you're safe. Hey, the family's here. I fear, I fear I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. Edgeworth. We never would have caught him if it weren't for all of you. Ah, come on, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? You're the ones who've been tracking the Phantom all this time. Plus, you were the one who gave Blackwell permission to serve as prosecutor, right? Yes, well. You knew the Phantom was somewhere nearby. 
The police and I were trying to find him, but we never did imagine, uh, we never did manage to do so until this trial. Well, we never would have won this trial without you. It was your help as chief prosecutor that was the key to its successful conclusion. Besides... It was you that saw to it I got my attorney's badge back, wasn't it? So you figured it out, did you? Yeah, getting my license back went just a little too smoothly, you know? It should have been much harder mm. after that evidence-forging scandal. Well, I owed you a few favors. Hey, Edgeworth. Think we can finally bring the Dark Age of the Law to an end? Even the Dark Snight turns to dawn eventually. Our sun will rise again. Besides, now that Prosecutor Blackwell has been cleared of all charges... I just... I just wanted to make a real quick Nippon Banzai joke. There you go. Okay. The land of the rising sun? <gasps> if they're actually in Japan, then the sun will definitely rise. Oh my rise. god, they said the thing. They said the thing. There you go. Cool. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's, it's... You know, mistrust towards the court system should have been swept away. You know, you could have said that with a bigger smile, Edgeworth. It won't kill you. Instead, the furrows in that brow of yours just keep getting deeper and deeper. See, I should smile more, huh? I'll think about it. <laughs> ah, a complicated love-hate relationship between lifelong rivals. No, I, I assure you, Athena, it's just love-love. Athena, I'm guessing it's Junie? Oh, no, it's not. <gasps> it's the boy. Athena, I'm forever in your debt. You went to all that trouble, even taking the bar exam while you were overseas. Well, I knew that if I didn't get your sentence overturned fast, you'd be executed. So I studied and studied. I was frantic. I'm so glad I made it in time. Aww. Yay! Just barely, but I still made it. That a girl, Athena. It's good to see you finally letting your tears out. Even as they're 30 FPS. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies Dark Age of the Lawn. Jesus Christ. That is, I don't that is imagine good. an EA version of a Phoenix game. It just like oh, cursed. No. Beyond cursed. Yes, I survived by the skin of my teeth, thanks to you. Shame on you, Simon, for trying to throw your life away like that. <laughs> it was never my intention to just throw my life away. But some things in this world are more important than your own life. Oh. <gasps> Like what? My unabound duty to protect with my life. My mentor's most beloved treasure. Huh? That's some loyalty. This guy really is a samurai through and through. Yeah, well, we made it ten. What? We made a what? We made it ten. <laughs> Double digits. <laughs> I'm making a save now. We have to save these momentous occasion that is 10. Pan. <laughs> Pan. Classic yeah. name. It looks like we can breathe easy now. Apollo, Athena, thank you both. It took all of us together to pull it off. You bet, boss. What a team we are, huh? It was definitely the most amazing turnabout I've ever seen. I'm a lucky guy. My office has the best, most capable lawyers around. Thanks, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna work extra hard to make up for all the worry I cost. Apollo Justice is fine and ready to go. Let's hear it for the right anything agency. Well, nobody's gonna try harder than me, so you'd better watch out, Apollo. Simon is free, thanks to Mr. Wright. But there are so many more people out there who need our help. You're right, and I'll be needing you both to help them. We still have a long way to go. Get ready, you two. We won a major victory, but the war is far from over. There are still people out there suffering under false charges who need defending. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. If we ever hope to fully bring the Dark Age of the Law to a close. Hey, I know one thing we have to do. We have to celebrate with a bowl of piping hot noodles. Yeah, that's cool. Huh? Eat on noodles. 
Nothing like a bowl of Eldoon's noodles after a trial. All of Mr. Wright's tab. That's how it works in Miss at Wright Anything Agency, right, Mr. Wright? Huh? Huh? Eh, eh? Hmm. As a boss, it's your duty to express gratitude to your people for their great work. In that case, allow me to join in the festivities. I would greatly <laughs> welcome a bowl of noodles. Eh, eh, eh? I have an idea, Daddy. Why don't you just invite everybody involved with the case? The more the merrier, right? Oh, Mr. Nick, look how far you've come. Who knew you'd grow up to be such a generous gentleman? Eh? I will. <laughs> I have some, um, guys? <laughs> Under these circumstances, there's only one thing I can say. Only if I get to, get to join in. Hey, no fair, I want to say it too. What's it? Okay, yeah, here we go. <gasps> Are you ready? Ready. On the count of three. <laughs> one, two, three. Objection! <laughs> Feels good. Feels good, fam. We got to say the O word. Let's go. We got to say the O word. Objection. I was trying to think of something nice I could do for Polly now that he's back. So I decided to go around and get a bunch of jobs for him to do. Find a lost cat, install an air conditioner, give a computer lesson, find a lost item. Hmm? You think I should have found him a few legal cases? Nah, <laughs> that's okay. This is the right anything agency after all. Pogjection. <laughs> Oh, we got this fancy remix. Oh, nice. Thena and Apollo were so wonderful in court. I'd better study as much as I can if I want to be a judge someday. My grandma says, eat lots of peppers and they'll ignite your passion. Oh, but I should figure out which to grow, green peppers or yellow peppers. Or maybe I should go with hot as the sun red peppers instead. Oh. Damn. She really did just declare that, uh, that, uh, Apollo is hot. Valid. Additional story. Yukinori Kitajiba. I'm not reading any of them out. Oh, I think that was you, right? The end of the decade to the law, you say. <laughs> How naive. Don't you know it's sometimes necessary to get a guilty verdict by any means possible? What? They're putting me under investigation? The chief part is good wants to see me? <laughs> we get to see the runaway animation again. <laughs> it's great. Yes. It's been an absolute month since then, but oh god damn, it was worth it. Show me <sighs> my girl. Give it to me. Which one? <gasps> the baby. I've been asked to debut the great mass wrestler Ten Mataro. He's scheduled to go up against the Amazing Night Tales next, though. Oh, what to do, what to do? A fight to the finish with myself? Oh, why didn't you ask Mr. Damon Lawyer to be the Amazing Night Tales? That's not a bad idea. I bet he'd be all for it. Ka ka ka. So we have to meet as foes, are we, my little friend? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Love those. Love those widows. I love them very much. Would you, would you believe it? I'm an alderman in Nine Tails Vale now. Pretty impressive, eh? I took over after Rex QB for the good of my beloved village. What do you say? Would you like to make a little donation to help us out? Hey, you, what do you think you're doing sneaking to the manor? Ah, the jig's up. Better make a run for it. Love that guy. <laughs> Excellent. I'm so glad I remembered his voice as well. I was like, <laughs> in a split second, I was like, it's the time. I thought I wanted to be an artist after seeing the amazing job at the end of it. I started becoming genuinely interested in law, so now I'm studying for the bar exam. <laughs> I'm gonna prosecute Athena someday. You'll S-E-E. Hmm, -E. I'm studying my buns off too, but not for the bar exam. I'm gonna pass the Themis entrance exam on my own merit this time. With a score of 100 points, of course. <laughs> you, Juniper? I'll take one of them, Juniper! Yes, that was great. I'm so happy. Oh. I found Blake's bucket for all three of them. They were worth them. It's because I want to be a legal journalist instead of a lawyer or a judge. But anyway, thanks to the trial, the school newspaper's future is as bright as... It can be. It can be. <gasps> the last the paper from the newspaper. I already had a great story at graduation rehearsal. Her cardboard box has got sucky. It's, it's too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. All good. I can speed read, it's okay. Speed <laughs> read. The one night only reunion concert. I still remember that evening of passion. I know he does actually have an American accent, but whatever. The president of the student council sang like no high school student I've ever heard. When she's a judge in her own court someday, I'd love to have a jam session with her. It'd be the coolest shred ever, yeah? I can already hear it now. 
Both Robin, Robin and Hugh are excellent, honestly. Yeah, I love them. That was a good trial. That was a very good trial. It's you. I gave this place such a good cleaning from top to bottom, but it's already a mess again. I guess the only thing I can do now is clean up the attitude with other people in this office. If Miss Maya you to come here for her, once her training is over, it simply must be done. Excellent. Uh, we're kind of almost through with everyone, aren't we? If we aren't already. Not yet. Oh, wait. Surely we get to talk to... Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humanity's dreams for outer space will never die. In fact, planning for the Hat 3 rocket has only officially begun. Look upon me as people of the great nation and witness the glory of Riri Cosmos. What do you... Well, director? Yes, yes. Rocket preparations are fully complete? Yes? You just leave everything to me. Assistant director, Yuri Cosmos. <laughs> oh, well. Assistant director. <laughs> Funny <laughs> spaceman. Funny Russian spaceman. Yeah, we still got Aura as well to go through, right? True. And the robots. I'm going to the moon. The newest rocket. If the Dino and Monty made us to the moon, I would love to show them around. But which is more interesting? Monty's pure Annie's or the Molly's good analysis? I think I would like either one. Yay! Hooray! I wonder how Miss Aura is doing. I'd rather be near Miss Aura than on the moon. No, Miss Aura. I just want you to use me again, like you used to. What was that? <laughs> that was a hey, statement. Was that? that was a very... That was a, certainly a statement. Ready for launch? Five, four, three, two, one! We off! I'm going to the moon for real this time! Me? Clay, thanks to my words, I should now know to never give up. But I'm worried. You can't breathe in space in effect, it's cold as heck. Oh man, I'm getting really nervous. <laughs> Absolute flush. Ah, uh, golly gosh. No, I am not employed here. I simply came to request their services in defense of my sister. But no one's around, and I've been kept waiting for a long time. And what sort of case brings you here? Oh, your father was accused, and you wish for Athena to defend him? Then perhaps he and I shall meet in a courtroom in the near future. There you go. That's a moment. Ah. I hope we get to see um, the crazy bomb boy. Oh, yeah. Who didn't actually blow anything up when you think about it. I look forward to your next month's salary review. Please forgive me. Black Rose Acquittal has been put all manner of ill sitting in the Portuguese office of light, which seems in solving that case has thought the chill of the winter into the... God, now I owe right yet another debt of gratitude. But I will repay him one day. I can trust in that. This is great. Ah. Uh, being put on the pressure of reading a lot. <laughs> speed reading, bitch. It's great. You're getting better at it, though, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, there's going to be no more, right? It'll be one after this. <gasps> protection! <laughs> Instead of objection, this is most definitely protection! <laughs> Kaboomed. Yeah, this is a whole lot of stuff in order now. Holy shit. Ah, we're going through these three. Bones. Bones. Coloring wish. Wish. True C. The man himself. Love him. We love, love his him. Love his Bitch. Whoa. Can't believe he fucking lived. Incredible. Bones, what does it mean? I heard, I have no idea. Jinxie! Oh, the Jinxie smile! Queen. Absolutely. Oh god. GC was great though. Not easy. Let's jam. Aktung baby. <laughs> Aww. Getting to see little moments of happiness spread throughout the games. <laughs> what about that space brain noise even? Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> when, when he was like trying his best. That was that's probably my my favorite um, <laughs> <trigger-fication> <laughs> in any any game. Yeah. Wait, whatification? What? Jokerification. Jokerification. I don't know what to call it when they like go all out. Yeah. Crazy. It's it's called a breakdown. I, it's I, I believe the official term is the breakdown. 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 Ah. Oh, was great. <laughs> Publicity. Man. I love that we used the bombed out courtroom. That, that was, was good shit. <sighs> How many cases was it? Just four? Uh, five. There, look at that. There we go. Bomb. Monsters. Getting got. Ooh. The absolute get got moment. Yeah. Font designed by Fontworks. So developed by Dynacomware. Imagine paying for fonts. Ugh. Capcom Co. Limited. Capcom Corporation Limited. Hit me out. Capcom hmm? Unlimited. <gasps> Unlimited power. Put up. Hang on. Hmm? There we go. I know you can't see my cursor, but stream can, so. Good. I did a smiley face. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Launch? Gyaxa! Is that Aura? Mm-hmm. I think Aura's going out to space. Oh. Please, 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 please. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, Simon's out on his own just watching on the hill. He's having, having an anime moment. Leave, leave him be. Yes, that's a rocket. Oh, wait, no, because she's in jail. <laughs> she's in jail. It sucks. But then who's the other person in, in space? I wonder. You've done it, my boy. You've breached the atmosphere. You've done it. We're going to the moon. We're landing on the moon. Thanks, guys. I wouldn't have made it back into space if it wasn't for you. Woo! This is great. Yeah. And the good news is I've moved my cursor to the other monitor so it didn't block any of that footage. Hell yeah. Perfect. Fly me to the moon. Oh, there we go. Through the years, I've seen as much joy as heartache. Honesty as deceit. And it's escape end. But just as Mr. Starbuck was able to escape the harsh pull of his fears and despair... I believe that hope and friendship can lift us all up towards a brighter tomorrow. Does the game end it yet? Was that it? Is the game over? Is the case over? <gasps> Finally! Because I was worried. I was also worried about a blue stacks crash. To be honest. There we go. Saving data. Ah, oh, we've done. It. <laughs> it's just a fucking like Android notification. <laughs> That's so funny. Come on, surely we have, like, the DLC episode, right? The generic-ass Android Special episode, game. Turnabout Reclaimed, which we can play next time, and has features pirates, and what the actual hell is this costume? What is going on there? <laughs> well? Is it just one DLC? Uh, I, think that's, I think that's the only one, yeah. Lovely. Yo, that, that dude totally, like, his hair and face make me think he needs, like, a Spike Spiegel kind of voice. 
Uh, they spoke to people like kind of um, okay, Crow yeah. Branwin kind of voice. Mm-hmm. Oh, who is this person on the far right? Pub of Dan- under the pub of danger. Um, it's like the Finn Fatale kind of look. Yeah. Okay. Either way, we get um Pearl this time. Sweet. All right. Well. Well, we'll see what the hell this is about at some point. Uh, not today. Holy shit. It's, uh, that was, uh, that was, was four hours. That was <laughs> four hours. Ah! It was worth it. Yeah. I just want to see if we can get to the... Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Accidentally uh, minimized. Did I unfull screened it? Oops. Yes, thank you. I want to see all the things that we got. Illustrations. <laughs> the music with like dead person. <laughs> yeah. It was just four cases. It was five, it was like remember? Because space space attorney was two cases. Yeah. Sure. Wait, really? That's the last illustration. Yes. <laughs> It's also a gun. The principal aesthetic of Ruby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, New Ruby design. Just draw. I, I just was kind of hoping for like the final of like the view of like um, um the Phantom. You know when he's like lying on the ground and stuff. That final view. I thought that would end up here as well. Oh, that'd be cute. We got nothing. It's a mystery. Costumes. There's no new ones, right? Yep. Nothing new. Okay, thanks for hanging. That's yeah, understandable. Yeah, the yeah. game's basically over. I just wanted to see if we got if we'd gotten any other new content, yeah, like no a new worries. costume or something. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Have a good and um, yeah, it's probably a good place to just wrap up in general, right? So, mm. it, switching thing and um, yeah, thanks for um, thanks everyone for coming around. It's been a been a real good time and um, you know we got through some stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who came by and. Um, yeah well we'll see you next time um with i'm gonna add one caveat which is that um on september wednesday september 1st um it will technically be a different wednesday for us a different day sort of time zones and all that but um i'm not going to stream um because of the whole i don't remember the exact name of the movement i'll be honest which feels kind of uh, a bit remiss of me almost but basically it's um a movement about how twitch has not been doing a damn thing about the hate raids that a lot of marginalized creators are getting so mm. i'm specifically not going to stream that day um you know i just sure my stream is super minor but i don't I, I'm, I'm fully in support of like you know twitch actually getting their shit together and protecting people who are at risk yeah you know totally. it's i don't know so for whatever for whatever it's worth i'm not going to stream on that day personally which you know hopefully means something since it's wednesday it's normally the day i try to stream every single week so anyway um, with that out of the way, um, next time will be this Wednesday because this Wednesday that is still seven days before September first. So we'll be we will be around then, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.